you literally could fundamentally change the way human yeah. beings interface with each other. Yes. Yes. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> Well done. How much will it cost them, traveling all this way for this formality? Three guild navigators, a total of 1.46 million, 62 salaries round trip. The greatest potential here is stopping the massive public health crisis that is out there. It's reducing costs for the overall healthcare system. It's making literally millions of people, millions and millions and millions of people in this country, multiply that times 100 for the world, right? It gives them their life back. It's going to be amazing when someone can have a spinal cord injury, go into a hospital, get surgery, and walk out a couple days later. I think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's as far away as people might think. What does it feel like to move the cursor with your mind? Freaking wild. Imagine waking up one day to find that your thoughts could control everything around you. Your phone, your car, even complex machines. A world where disabilities are cured, memories can be downloaded, and humanity merges with artificial intelligence. How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation. This isn't just science fiction. It's the vision of Neuralink, Elon Musk's groundbreaking company. But as Neuralink aims to rewrite the rules of human potential, one question remains. Could it break reality as we know it? Let's dive into this revolutionary yet controversial innovation. We need to build a bridge between us and them, a link, a neural link. Joining human to AI, together with our combined abilities, we can build a better world for us all. Today, we will unravel the mysteries of artificial intelligence and cutting-edge technology. In today's episode, we'll explore Neuralink, its ambitions, the science behind it, the potential benefits, and the risks that come with it. Elon Musk describes Neuralink as the key to unlocking humanity's future. But what does this future look like? Will Neuralink elevate our species to new heights, or will it introduce challenges too immense to control? By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of the technology and the profound questions it raises about our reality. Neuralink's mission is audacious, to create a direct interface between the human brain and technology. But even the boldest ideas are met with significant challenges. Let's start with the ethical dilemmas. One major concern is privacy. If Neuralink succeeds in decoding brain signals, what happens to our innermost thoughts? Could corporations monetize your memories or sell your emotions to advertisers? Imagine living in a world where your mental state is no longer private, a chilling scenario that feels more dystopian than utopian. Then there's the biological risk. Implanting a device in the brain isn't a minor procedure. What if the implant malfunctions? Or worse, what if it causes long-term damage to the brain? Although Neuralink employs advanced robotic systems to ensure precision, we are still in the early stages of understanding the long-term implications of such surgeries. Finally, let's talk about inequality. If Neuralink becomes a tool for cognitive enhancement, it could create an even greater divide between the rich and the poor. Imagine a world where the wealthy are not only financially powerful, but also intellectually superior, thanks to Neuralink. This could lead to a class of superhumans while leaving others behind in the dust. Now, let's dig into the fascinating science behind Neuralink. At its core, Neuralink's implant, often called the link, is a coin-sized device designed to interface directly with the brain. Thin, flexible electrodes, thinner than a human hair, are inserted into specific regions of the brain. These electrodes are capable of both recording neural activity and stimulating the brain. The installation process is handled by a highly specialized robotic surgeon, this ensures precision and minimizes the risk of human error. But how does this translate into real-world applications? Neuralink has already demonstrated significant progress. Take their 2020 demo, for example. The world watched in awe as a pig named Gertrude with a Neuralink implant showed real-time readings of her brain activity. 
While it seemed like a simple demo, it was a critical proof of concept. Neuralink could read neural signals. Fast forward to 2024, Neuralink made history again by implanting its device in human patients. One such patient, a quadriplegic man, was able to regain digital autonomy by controlling devices with his thoughts. This isn't just groundbreaking, it's life-changing for millions of people suffering from neurological conditions like paralysis, ALS, and more. But Neuralink's ambitions extend far beyond medical applications. Elon Musk has openly discussed the possibility of cognitive enhancements. Imagine being able to learn a new language in seconds or download the skills to play the guitar like a pro. It's not just about treating disabilities, it's about redefining what it means to be human. Here's where Neuralink crosses from innovation into something almost mythical. Musk envisions a future where humanity could merge with artificial intelligence. The reasoning is simple. AI is advancing at an exponential rate. To keep up, humans need to enhance their own intelligence, and Neuralink could be the bridge that allows us to do so. But what does that actually mean? Let's imagine a scenario. You're sitting at your desk, and instead of typing into a search engine, you simply think of a question. Neuralink sends that thought to a digital database, retrieves the answer, and implants it directly into your mind. This isn't just faster internet, it's total integration with information systems. The implications of this are staggering. Telepathic communication could become a reality. Forget texting or calling. Neuralink could allow you to communicate directly mind to mind. It could also lead to a kind of collective intelligence, where human thoughts and ideas are shared in real time. But here's the catch. What happens if this technology falls into the wrong hands? Could governments use Neuralink to impose thought control? Could hackers infiltrate your brain and manipulate your thoughts? These are no longer hypothetical questions. They're urgent concerns that must be addressed as the technology evolves. Let's ground this discussion by looking at some real-world applications Neuralink is targeting. Medical breakthroughs. Neuralink could revolutionize treatments for neurological conditions. Patients with Parkinson's disease could experience relief from tremors, and individuals with spinal cord injuries could regain mobility. Neuralink is also working on a device called Blindsight, which aims to restore vision by directly stimulating the visual cortex. For millions suffering from blindness or deafness, this could be a literal miracle. Mental health. Neuralink could also be used to treat mental health disorders like depression and anxiety by targeting and regulating specific brain regions. Imagine a future where mental health is no longer a struggle, but a manageable condition through advanced neurotechnology. Enhancements. Beyond treatments, Neuralink could enhance human capabilities. Athletes might improve reaction times, students could learn faster, and scientists might develop groundbreaking ideas in real-time collaboration with AI. But let's not get carried away without addressing the counter-arguments. Neuralink's critics point out that this technology could open the door to unprecedented surveillance and control. If your thoughts can be accessed, who decides what's private? Moreover, there's the question of accessibility. How do we ensure this technology benefits everyone and not just a select elite? As with any powerful tool, it can be used for good or for harm. This is why the development of Neuralink must be accompanied by robust ethical frameworks, regulatory oversight, and public discourse. Finally, there's the human element. If we merge with machines, do we lose part of what makes us human? Neuralink offers immense potential but it also challenges our understanding of identity, autonomy, and freedom. Neuralink is, without a doubt, one of the most exciting and controversial technological advancements of our time. Its potential to transform lives through medical applications is undeniable, and its promise to enhance human capabilities could redefine our future. But with such great power comes even greater responsibility. As we stand on the brink of this new reality, we must ask ourselves, are we ready for the ethical and societal challenges that Neuralink presents? Will this technology unite us or divide us further? One thing is certain, Neuralink is not just creating a new device, it's paving the way for a new reality. And whether that's a utopia 
or a dystopia depends on how we navigate the road ahead. What do you think? Is Neuralink the key to unlocking humanity's true potential, or does it open a Pandora's box of challenges? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more thought-provoking content about AI and the future of technology. Don't forget to check out our other videos.